Central Missouri Mules football's 2023 season ended in the NCAA Division II playoffs second round. The sixth ranked Mules fell on the road to number three ranked Harding in Searcy, Arkansas. The Mules got on the board first, opening drive of the contest. Zach Zabrowski airs it out to Zion Perry on a dime, makes the leap and grab. A 30-yard score, 7-0 Mules in the first four minutes. It would be tied 7-7 after one complete. Second quarter, Central Missouri trailing by seven. Zabrowski fires a short pass to Arkell Smith on the outside, bites his way into the end zone for the five-yard touchdown. It's tied at 14 with three minutes left in the first half. However, Harding would score right before the break. UCM would trail 21-14 at halftime. Less than a minute left in the third quarter. Central Missouri down by 14. Zabrowski escapes some pressure and finds Michael Fitzgerald in the end zone from 28 yards out. The Mules down 28 to 21. Midway through the fourth quarter, UCM down by double digits again. Zabrowski connects with Smith on the quick slant, shakes off two defenders and takes off, outrunning the rest of the Bison's defense. Goes down as an 87-yard touchdown. Arkell Smith totaled 150 yards on nine catches and had three touchdown receptions. Smith ends his UCM career as the program record holder in receiving touchdowns with 34. Redshirt junior quarterback Zach Zabrowski went 34 for 44 and threw for five touchdowns on 425 passing yards and added 94 rushing yards on 16 carries. Central Missouri with the ball with less than a minute left to play. Zabrowski goes to Smith again, a six-yard touchdown reception with 22 seconds remaining. But the PAT would be blocked. The Mules suffer a heartbreaker 35-34, ending their season with an 11-2 overall record, tying the school record for wins, and as the MIAA co-champion after a 9-1 and conference record. I couldn't be more proud of a group of individuals that I've ever been associated with from the coaching staff to our leadership to our players, how, how special these young men have, have come together uh, and committed to each other and sacrificed for each other and loved each other for a group that ultimately was, was picked seventh, I think, in our conference coming into the season. Um, and handled so much of the unknown, uh, so much of the success and, and adversity throughout the season. Um, you know, to, to finish 11 and two and have two one point losses is, uh, is tough. But you know, in times of adversity and struggle, I think ultimately um, these guys will, it's gonna sting right now. It's gonna sting for a while, um, but they're gonna be better for it. I don't know why it ultimately happened and um, what all went into it, but I know these young men, the resiliency that they have shown with their character throughout the last however many months that we've been able to be together, um, they're going to bounce back and they're going to be okay whether this is their last football game and they're going to go on to be great husbands, um, great fathers, great men of our community, um, or if they have more football left in front of them, they will, uh, they will use this as, as an experience to get better. So extremely proud of our football team and the members of our football team um, for everything that they've accomplished this year. Our uh, defense did a great job of getting a stop when they absolutely had to. Um, you know, it, that was something that they, they had continued to make adjustments really all throughout the game. And, you know, when, when you don't see this type of offense, it, it does. It's a, it's a continual process uh, for all 60 minutes. And, and you know, they, they pushed the right buttons and made the right adjustments to, to get the stop there on third down and, and force a fourth down and a punt. And, um, I, you know, I'm not exactly sure how much time was left uh, when our offense got the football back. But with two timeouts and what our offense does, does. And uh, with this guy sitting beside me, we knew that we had more than enough time to ultimately go down the field and, and score. And, um, you know, Zach did what Zach has done all season long. Uh, he was <laughs> he was the best player in the country. And um, he led that drive down the field in, in only the way that he can and uh, found a way to get in the end zone on the pass to Arkell and a uh, great effort by Arkell Smith to, to get in the end zone. And then, you know, we were going to kick the field goal. We fought. We, we really felt like um, that was the right call in that moment. And, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, didn't get it to go our way. And uh, um, that's life. And, and we learned from that. It's, it's a tough pill to swallow. Um, but, uh, 
you know, again, just so proud of the way that these guys have handled all the things that have come their way uh, throughout the entire year. I don't really think you can beat it. It's just football. So I think that's why we all play, just for those moments. Obviously, you don't want to be losing and stuff. That's, I mean, that's the fun part of football, going going on a drive. And I think, I mean, down down 14, six minutes left, a ball in our own five. I mean, <laughs> there were some people behind the end zone talking, and we're, I, I just knew, I mean, I just said, watch this. I mean, our I knew our team steps up when moments happen like that. And, I mean, Arkell Smith, you saw him, he just – I mean that's why he leads the country in <laughs> receiving yards. He's just, he's just a, a guy. He's just a dude, and um, that's the guys I'm most sad for. You know the seniors. I mean I got another year left, but and it hurts. But those guys, you know, that's a, it's, it's a terrible way to go out. But I think I don't think there would be any other way that we'd want to go out together. You know, just fighting till the last whistle. And I think that's kind of the, been the motto of our team all year. Throughout the game, like Lambo said, uh, it was about just making changes and correcting those as uh, we went through each drive. So um, again, we believe in our offense and, and our offense believes in us. So after they scored, um, we knew that we just had to get one more stop to get our offense back on the field so they can score. So I mean, we wanted to go out there calm, collected, just do our job and do our one left and help the team uh, have a chance to, to score again. I've always had confidence in myself, but no, I thought we'd have a chance to have a good offense. We never really know until you get out there week in and week out. And I was just, I'm surrounded by the best people in the country, I think. The best offense uh, in the country, I think. Receivers, running backs, O-line, they make my job pretty easy. I just gotta, I just gotta get it to them and I'll be, my name will be in the headlines, but uh, it's, all, it's all them. It's all the O-line, the receivers, running backs, they make my job easy. So it's just been a fun year. It all goes back to the people. Um, it goes back to our coaching staff coming together in, in early January and those guys uh, committing to, to making UCM football the best that it could possibly be and, and going out and, and recruiting and having the guys here that went through what we went through last year, you know, four and seven season and uh, a lot of doubt, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear um, that was associated with the program at that point in time and everybody coming together and, and pulling the rope in the same direction. Um, and that's what I'm so proud of for, for our young men and our coaching staff from the standpoint of, in life that doesn't happen very often, where you truly get everybody committed to moving the same direction. And when the, when the ego goes out the door and nobody cares who gets the credit and they all celebrate each other and they truly believe in, in what we're trying to do and they work so hard. They're, I can count on one hand how many bad practices we had all year. And then if, if you watch our team and you watch them, whether it's, whether it's pregame meal or it's at halftime or before a game or out at practice or in a meeting, they have more fun together than you know, just about anybody that I've ever been around. And so that's the, that's the coolest thing about what these guys did. And I, I, am, I hope I get to be around it again in my coaching career. Uh, but this is such a special group of people um, and what they did and the obstacles that they overcame this year was something that's really, really special.